The 40th Ryder Cup is this weekend at Glen Eagles Resort in Scotland, with 12 Americans going up against 12 Europeans in golf's most anticipated event. But this isn't your average golf tournament. The Ryder Cup only happens every two years, pitting country against continent. The 24 players qualified based on individual tournament results and wildcard picks by the two captains, Tom Watson for the U.S. and Irishman Paul McGinley for Europe. Over three days beginning Friday, there will be 28 matches. The team that earns more than half the points will win the cup. But these matches aren't decided simply by which team has the lowest score after 18 holes. This is match play, where having the lowest score in a hole wins you a point, and winning the most points wins you the match. If the match is tied after 18 holes, each team gets half a point. For the Americans, this is an opportunity to avenge the meltdown at Medina. Two years ago in suburban Chicago, the U.S. squad went into the final day with a four-point lead, only to blow it, tying the record for the largest blown lead on the final day in the 85-year history of the event. In fact, the U.S. has been on the losing end way more often than not in the last 20 years, winning just twice while falling to the Europeans seven times. And the Americans aren't expected to fare any better this time, facing a European roster that includes four of the top six players in the world, betting lines pegged the Euros as heavy favorites. And there's more. Not since 1993 have the Americans won on foreign soil. The silver lining for the U.S. squad? When the Americans did win last time in Europe, the captain was a guy named Watson, the same Watson who will lead the team in the Glen Eagles on Friday. Yahoo!